pleasure in this. Let me bring in um, the Bishop Matthew Jemfi, who is the president of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. Bishop, thank you for your time here on PM Express. Hello, Bishop. Do we have B Bishop on the line? Uh, yes, please, I'm here. Hello, Bishop. Hello, I hear you. Thank you very much for joining us, Bishop. Bishop, I, I saw a news item today attributed to the Catholic Bishops' Conference where it is reported that uh, as far as the conference is concerned, um, any aid that may be coming to Ghana, almost 130 million plus, if the condition is for us to be more welcoming of LGBTQ, then Ghana should reject it. Uh, can you expand on that position for me? Yes, the, the point is uh, most of this money that comes in, they are not grants. They are loans that we take. So loans to be paid back. So if conditions are attached to it, on the surface, uh, we are paying more and going to pay back more than what we are actually receiving or taking. Secondly, there are other issues that go to the core of the Ghanaian, mm. our culture, who we are as a people. And one such thing is this issue of uh, LGBT that we will give you money loans only if you change who you are, your culture, to accept these things. So if we get the money and we introduce this thing, then who are we again? We are selling and giving away our birthright. So you may get the money, but then who are you again? We lose who we are. This is going to the core of the, 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 the fabric of the Ghanaian society, the family, relationships, etc. So it is not any, any uh, strength attached. This strength attached is too expensive. Mm. And, and that is why I believe that if the, uh, even the survivor of the nation is supposed to be attached to this law, the president or cabinet or <coughs> parliament, let them refer the matter to Ghanaians. Let them refer because it, it, it affects all of us directly and who we are as a people. As a people. Let the matter be referred to Ghana. This even we have to uh, uh, vote on it. That we take this money and then we accept this. And let Ghanaians speak. We don't want some individual uh, to, to make this decision on behalf of the entire Ghanaian population. Because it's going to affect all of us. 